First, a family demands answers after their son with special needs died at a children's care facility in Brevard County. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. The family of Terion Hanner Jackson gathered this morning to call for justice months after their 13-year-old son died at the Angels on Earth Pediatric Care Facility in Melbourne. His father says even though the facility is currently closed, they need to know what happened before it reopens. We lost our son prematurely. I mean, he was a baby. We, we trusted this facility to take care of him and those particular things. And for me, I can honestly say that mom and my son, they did an outstanding job of, of taking care of him. And then they bring him here just to get a little relief, you know, and, and this happens. And so for me, I just, I just would like the person or persons that are responsible for the gross negligence, because that's what it was that caused his demise and I'm so hurt uh, I've been depressed I, I, I didn't even know what depression was until this happened and it, it's 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 awful it's something that I'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life we lost our child one child is too much and so it, if and when they reopen if that happens we just want to make sure that this doesn't happen to another family According to the Brevard County Death Investigation Report, Hannah Jackson was loaded into an ambulance with a glove in his mouth. The family's attorney said they believe he was left alone for an extended period of time when he should not have been left alone at all. The medical examiner's office is still working on the boy's autopsy. The sheriff's office says the investigation is ongoing. And this comes a few weeks after the administrator for the center, Carlos Cabrera, was arrested on Medicare fraud charges. State officials say he stole more than $400,000 while running the company. Before Cabrera's arrest, Angels on Earth said it closed all of its facilities due to a family emergency. There's no word on when the facilities will reopen.